G'day there. I'm Keelan. Welcome to episode three of Flash Forbies. Um, today we'll be looking at my 2011 Toyota Prado. Here we're running a Iron Man Deluxe commercial bar. I've just powder coated it, dark grey to match the colour of the car. These shiny things are Diamax 9-inch LED spotlights, and we're running a 6.6 .6 DVI GME antenna with a 42-inch King's light bar under the roof rack. So up on top here, I've just got a Tracklander full cage aluminium rack. I'm running an 80-watt solar panel, the Rhino Rack Sunseeker awning. I've also got two Max tracks on the roof here, all locked down so you buggers can't steal them. And I've just got two LED light bars on either side just to help me find camps at night time. Let's have a cheeky gander under the bonnet here. We've got a 1KD Prado engine, it's done 210,000 Ks. I've got a Safari snorkel to feed cold air into the air intake. I've also done a full manifold clean out. I'm running dual bats wise a 96 amp hour lead acid battery with an intervolt DC DC charger with solar input. I've also got a secondary pre-filter kit here and behind that is just where my relays are for my lights, etc. Welcome to the cockpit. I'll start off with just the GME radio handset. All the buttons are just there so it's really handy. Just got the intervolt DC to DC charger heads up display. Um, on the dash I've got an EDS scan gauge which I'm trying to sell at the moment because it's crap. Down the side here I've got a Red Arc Tow Pro Elite for the caravan. So in the back here nothing real fancy going on. I've just removed the seats to save a bit of weight and also gain a little bit of space. I've made a little hat rack here just from Tuwaki straps from Bunnings. Costs about six bucks to make. Pretty handy little feature. Keeps all the hats nice and shape. Suspension and tyres. I'm running two inch lifted King Springs on Bilstein shocks. For tyres, I'm running 285 70 17 BFG KM3 mud terrain tyres. Inside them are King D imitation bead locks, and they're a 17 by 9 zero offset. And stop looking at the bush between my legs. In my rear, I've just got 400 kilogram constant load King Springs coupled with Bill Stein's two inch shock absorbers. Um, and with the caravan, it sits nice and level. On the rear door here, I've just made a custom drop down table out of some folded aluminium, powder coated textured black with some switchboard hinges. This makes camping and touring real easy. Um, we can just pull up on the side of the road and prepare lunch on it. Uh, makes our setup that much better. Also, I'm running ARB drawers. On the left hand side of the drawers, I keep all my recovery and my recovery gear and compressor and also on this side I keep spare parts, first aid kits and tools. And I also normally run an angle 40 litre in the back, however we've just moved that to the caravan for now. Behind the Prado, we're towing an Oztrak Tanami 11 foot hybrid off-road caravan. There's too much stuff to list on that right now, but if you want a full look through of what's included in the van, click my link which will be somewhere up here or there or there um, to see the specs of the van. Thanks a lot for showing us around your rig, man. It's been great. Yeah, no worries, eh? Cheers for the beer as well. No, you're right. All good. Yeah, cool. Um, what are your favourite mods you reckon you've done to your setup? Probably Caravan, number one. Yeah. And then second would probably be 
lift and tyres. I know that's two, but it's just helped so much um, having the right suspension and tyres. Yeah. I feel like 33 is really sort of aesthetically pleased with the caravan on the back. Yeah, no, it looks really great when it's all driving around. Looks like really well balanced and everything. Um, do you have like an ideal campsite you'd prefer to take this to? Um, we're going around Australia in May and we're planning on doing a lot of sort of desert to coastal stuff and that's what we really like. Yeah. So the campsite like Red Bluff where you're pulling up right on the cliff and you've got the ocean right there um, and you can go swim just on your doorstep. That's pretty much ideal for us. Yeah, nice. So yeah. Now that'd be awesome out there. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. And um, do you have any last minute advice for anyone looking to get a, sim a setup similar to yours? Um, get your weight sorted first, so don't um, don't put a lift in and then put your weight in, sort of sort out how much weight you've got and then get springs and shocks to suit so you're not doing things twice and spending twice as much money and yeah, yep. it's just better that way. Yeah, nice, good advice. Well look, that uh, pretty much wraps up episode 3 of Flash Forbies. Thanks again for Keelan for coming on this episode. Uh, make sure to follow their YouTube and Instagram accounts as well at Sarah Keelan Travels uh, to see their lap of Australia and how this thing evolves and how they go living it at all. So, yeah, thanks again, man. It's been great. No worries. Thanks for having me. Now, bloody stop drinking my beers and let me have a bloody sleep now. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Fine. <laughs>